Here we are, it's dinner time. What are we gonna cook? Tonight, we're gonna do something really quick and easy. So you'll be able to make this in a flash. I've got my pasta boiling. I've got some linguine. I'm using a little bit over a half a pound. And we're using a pound of hot Italian sausage. So we're gonna put that in there. Gotta get the paper off so that we don't cook that. And we've got that in a nice hot pan. go and turn the fire down a little bit. We've had that nice and heated. So we're going to get this sausage nice and cooked. So like I said, about a half, about a, a pound, a little bit over a pound of sausage. We're going to get this going here. So this is going to be something fast and easy. It is not low fat, so I'm not promising you that. The sausage though from HEB, HEB does a really nice Italian sausage. I like the hot. I use it, I'm gonna temper it though with a little cream tonight. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more. I'm using the all clad, it's not the non-stick. And what I'm going to want with this is those little bits and pieces at the bottom of the pan. So when I pour the liquid in, we're going to see some, some reduction and we're going to get that nice taste. Tonight we're going to serve it with a little bit of Elise wine. Love Elise wine. One of my favorites is one they're not doing anymore. It's called Howl Mountain. And you can taste the black pepper. It's reminiscent of a wine that we had in Australia. Absolutely love it. And we plan on seeing the people in, at Elise in just about a week and a half. So we're very excited about that. Love Elise wines. And uh, love the special things Nancy sends out. Nancy is one of the wine, one of the owners of the winery. She sends out little things like this. So we have several little gifts that we get from them. So now if you look, we've got the sausage cooking. It's a, more of a coarse sausage. That's what I want. I don't want, you know, a, a, a very uh, fine sausage for this. I want texture. And we talked about this in some of my other videos. Love texture. So, here's what I'm gonna do. We're going to add a half a tablespoon of garlic. And you know my thing about garlic, I love it. You don't always add it at the beginning because garlic will get bitter the longer you cook it. So, in any of my recipes, you'll see me adding the garlic a little bit later. Let me check this pasta right now. We'll see, I want it al dente. We're close, got a little bit more to go. Keep stirring this. Now at the bottom of the pan, you can see we've got some browning there. That's exactly what we want. But we wanna make sure that all the sausage is cooked. We don't want any raw sausage because we're getting ready to add some of the other ingredients. I told you this was gonna happen really fast. Mark, you better get ready because it's coming out early and fast. So sometimes it takes Mark a long time to get to the table, even when you call in for food. So we've got this going. There's only a little bit, you know, the uh, HEB sausage is not very fatty. So that's a really good thing. We don't need a lot of the sausage fat. We are going to use a little bit of B.R. Cone's Meyer lemon olive oil. That's coming up in a bit. But um, this is a really nice little olive oil, flavored olive oil. They have several other flavors too. So we're pretty close to having this done. Even the little bits on the bottom are starting to pop up now. Oh, it smells really good. So this is the point where we're gonna add about a tablespoon of the BR cone right in there. Salute, dear. I always cook with wine, and sometimes some even makes it in the food. I think that's an old saying. We have cut up, I have cut up, these beautiful tomatoes. They're the little small petite sweets, and we're going to add those right in there right now. You don't want to cook them too long. Dear, would you come give this a stir? You can stir from the other side while I drain the pasta. 
There you go. Give that a little stir. Good. You're shy. You're not like Jeffrey on Ina Garden. <laughs> so stir that. That's great. Very good. It's looking really good. It smells. You can you, you get that faint hint of lemon off of that Meyer lemon olive oil. Okay, we've got the pasta being drained. Mark's got that going. Thank you. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit more on this. There we go. The aroma is wonderful. I've got a tablespoon of capers. Just the, um, I like the HEB brand. We're going to hit that with that tablespoon of capers. And I went out in the garden before I started, and I cut up some basil. Now, my basil, it, I've got tons of it out there. So easy to grow. In fact, I'm saving seeds. I'm letting some go to seeds. I'm saving seeds so I can replant and have more basil for the fall. It'll die around November, but what I've already done is I've cut a lot of leaves off, and I've put them in the, the freezer. So I've got bags of full leaves. And then I'm going to dry a lot of this. Give some to my friends too. Now that you can smell the aroma of the capers. We're going to add salt, but we're gonna be real careful about our pepper on this one because the, hot, the sausage is the hot Italian and we don't wanna overdo it. So we've added salt. And we've gotten that all mixed in there. I'm going to go ahead and add two and a half ounces of sliced black olives. That gives it a pretty color. So you've got green, a little bit of green, red, black going on. The aroma is lovely. Get the fire going a little bit. I told you this wasn't going to take long. We're only seven minutes into it. You can have this on the table within 12 minutes, 15 minutes. So now we're going to add a cup of liquid. It's half whipping cream and half, half, and half. If you prefer, you can do more of the uh, whipping cream or less. You can use a non-fat half and half if you'd like. We're going to get this going, get it up to temperature, and reduce it just slightly. Now, I told you I had the basil already done. I did a coarse chiffonade on the basil, and I'm not gonna put it on the burner, but as you can see, I've got the basil here. and. Um, I like the color, I like the texture. When, when we toss all of this around, you wanna put this in, in at the end. So let me get the pasta going. I'll let you look at this and look at my glass of wine. It's so nice tonight. a nice bowl and we're going to put it in our cooler burner not that one so we've got the pasta all steaming hot and ready to go now remember what I told you in one of the other videos if you are using a vegetable or something green and you cook it too long you are going to get a dark grayish color so that's why we're going to put the basil in toward the, the end. I want to make sure that is very vibrant and the color is beautiful in there. So, let's get this in. See, I told you it's going to be fast. Let's get this in here. And one hint too, when if you're using your knife to scrape any item in off your bowl, Never use the blade end. Always use the back of the knife and scrape it in that way. That way you don't harm your knife. 
I'm gonna toss this around. Look at those colors. Now we're talking. Now I'm gonna use a combination of cheeses and um, it's Romano Parmesan. Romano Parmesan and a little Asiago. So we're gonna put that in there to start, get it melted down a little bit. And now we are going to take that and put that hot liquid right into there. Turn this off. A, a good stir, a good toss, add the rest of our cheese, or even a little bit more. And this is dinner tonight. Bon appetit and salute.